beguiling question and so i found it really tough right? uh, rahul rakshita and gurmeet working together would have taken more than 7 days to finish a job on the other hand rahul and gurmeet working together would have taken less than 15 days to finish a job however they all worked together for 6 days followed by rakshita who worked alone for 3 more days to finish the job I don't even get this, fine, I had to write this down to even make sense of it. Rahul, Rakshita and Gurmeet put together greater than 7 days. Rahul and Gurmeet together fewer than 15 days. And I thought I could make some inference from here. Was greater than 7, less than 15, twice of 7 is 14. I thought this could work. But then, look, greater than 7 need not be 8, it could be 7.1. Fewer than 15 could be 14.8. So it's not more than twice, that relationship doesn't hold good. And so I thought they're taking more than 7, this take less than. This is, this could make some inference about, with, with the idea this is more than twice of that. There was something to go there, but it didn't happen because if I could say minimum is 8, minimum is, maximum is 14, then I can make an inference, but it's not true. This could be 7.1, this could be 14.9, so I couldn't draw any inference there. However, they all worked together for 6 days, followed by Rakshita, who worked alone for 3 more days to finish the job. If Rakshita had worked alone on the job, then the number of days she would have taken to finish the job cannot be fine. As it is, there are two inequalities type things. And then Rahul and Gurmeet and Rakshita work for six days and Rakshita alone works for three more days. Where does this go? This question that rather beautifully gets unlocked if we make one simplifying assumption. Dealing with three people is tough, but it always dealing with Rakshita separately and Rahul and Gurmeet together. So what I'm going to do, instead of saying Rahul, Rakshita, Gurmeet, I'm going to take Rahul and Gurmeet together and call it some K. This makes life dramatically easier because now we can say K and R take more than 7 days. K takes less than 15 days. And then K, 6 days of K and 9 days of R finishes the task. Nice, interesting. So now let's say the task is T some task T and what K can do in a day is K, K is Rahul and Gurmeet together. So they take more than 7 days to finish it or 7K plus 7R is less than the task. K can finish the task in 15 days or 15K is more than the task. If K works for 15 days, he or she or them or that unit will finish more than the task. In less fewer than 15 days, they finish the task. So 15k is greater than the task. We also know that 6k plus 9r is equal to the task. And the task is 6k plus 9r. All of them work for 6 days and then Rakshita work for 3 more days. Or Rakshita works for 9 days, Rahul and Gurmeet together work for 6 days. 6k plus 9r is equal to task. This task can be completed by this team and 7k plus 7r does achieves less than the task, 15k achieves more than the task. Now I've got something going, what can I do here? I can say hey, 7k plus 7r is less than 6k plus 9r or k is less than, oopsie, this doesn't look like k, does it? k is less than 2R. 15K is greater than 6K plus 9R or 9K is greater than 9R or K is greater than R. It's nice because it says K sits between R and 2R. Oops, say.
now this is nice and simple or we've got to do you know 6k plus 9r is equal to t k smallest value it can take is little more than r highest value it can take is little less than 2r i put r i get one extreme i'll get 2r i'll get another extreme so k is more than r k were equal to r 15r equal to t k has to be more than this r r has to work for more than 15 days to get this I substitute the other way around 12k plus 9r, 12r plus 9r, 21r equal to t. Both of these don't work because r less than k less than 2r. I'm just putting the extreme values to make sense of it. k could be 1.0001r, in which case it will be 15.0006r equal to t, 20.9999r equal to t. Right, so, nice. So, we can infer that. 15 r less than the task less than 21 r or the number of days r takes rakshita is more than 15 at least slightly more than 15 and less than 21 at least slightly less than 21 now we go to the choices and say hey it could be this it could be this it could be this it cannot be this this is the answer we're looking for as i said super tough properly challenging you to frame the equation the big takeaway for me from this was to look at this and go look at these three things and then say Rahul and Gurmeet are one unit and then I have something to go with. If I had Rahul, Rakshita and Gurmeet, I am going mad which is what I did in the exam and I skipped this question because there are three variables and two weird inequalities, one equation and nothing I could do with it. This were 7 and 14, I would have done something with it. 7 and 15 is a pain. So I thought not going anywhere, I skipped this question but if I can think of Rahul and Gurmeet together, then I have got something going. Hush.